Welcome back to the Sixth Year Garage. Here is one of my vehicles which has not been featured on my channel very much. This is my 1997 Mustang GT. It's been lightly modified with some period correct modifications and it's by no means fast by today's standards, but it looks good and it sounds magnificent with the SVO side exhaust. We'll go for a test drive later. With only 80,000 miles, I don't really drive it all that often as sunny days in Ohio are kind of limited. And speaking of sunny days, I'm wearing my Jens eyeglasses. I took advantage of their free polarized lens upgrade going on right now for a limited time. More details on that in a bit. Right now, let's do a walk around of the vehicle and then later go for a test drive and hear the glorious rumble of the SVO Borla side exhaust. The original GT fluted headlights have been replaced with clear headlights from a Cobra and the corner lights have been upgraded to clear to match the headlights. And the bulbs inside these have been upgraded to an HID setup way back in the day before LED was affordable. The wheels on the car are Fittipaldi Tubulari and they're 18 by 9 inch and they are definitely 1990s. And the rear stick out a little bit more because I've got 40 millimeter H&R spacers on the back. One of my favorite things about this car is the classic design concept styling bar. Now this isn't a true roll bar, it's only got about a one inch metal pipe inside, but it really looks amazing on the SN95 convertibles and it also adds this LED third brake light for additional safety. Now behind that I have a Speedster tonneau cover and this is a one piece fiberglass cover that extends from behind the front seats, over the rear seats, and over the convertible boot area. And how this stays attached while you're driving is it has buckles attached to the inside and they actually plug into the receivers for the rear seats. And behind that is my favorite of all wings for the SN95, Yes 281 wing. Now this is a replica of course, but I really love how it sits flush and continues the body lines of the SN95. And to finish off the exterior, I have a very rare SVO Special Vehicle Operations Badge. I'm told that this is from Australia. I have no idea what it's off of originally. Maybe a Falcon, but if you know, let me know. There's not much under the hood except for bolt-ons. Real quick, we've got the uh, Mac cold air intake here. We've got a 70 millimeter throttle body, and I just installed a Mishimoto radiator last year. It has Hotchkiss caster camera plates to help with the alignment. The car is lowered on Yamex progressive rate springs. Anyone remember those from the 90s? And the shocks are Tokiko Illumina 5-way adjustable. It's hard to get a good look, but the steering rack bushings, sway bar bushings, and end links have all been upgraded with parts for Maximum Motorsports. And that really tightened up the feel of the steering. And you can't see, but there's a set of FMS shorty headers down there which go to a bbk h pipe and that ends up at the svo side exhaust and now my favorite thing about the car and i may be biased but one of the best sounding exhausts i've ever heard the svo borla side exhaust this is discontinued now but what it is it's a cap back and it comes back and there's a muffler and then it turns around and comes back out the same side and then points out the side and we're gonna hear how this sounds in a little bit. These fiberglass side skirts were also part of the $600 Borla SVO exhaust kit. When I had them painted to match, I had the SVO letters done with PPG Harlequin Copper to Magenta color shifting paint. And with no more dual exhaust poking out below the rear bumper, I filled the void with a Classic Design Concepts Aero Shield. It's made of fiberglass and extends the finished look of the rear bumper underneath the car, covering the gas tank with a smooth painted panel and wraps up around the front side of the tank and into the wheel wells. These were 265 bucks new back in the 90s and they were only made for a short time, so they're extremely hard to find now. The interior is all original with the exception of a B&M short throw shifter. So more info on the sunglasses. Right now, go to Jen's and get a free polarized lens upgrade. Normally that's $120 extra, but right now for a limited time, it's free. They have over 600 different frames on their website to choose from, and they can do polarized lenses on any one, as well as prescription or non-prescription. Use the code 6thgear15 to get $15 off your pair of Jen's glasses. I'll put a link down in the description. What's so great about polarized glasses? 
I have a polarizing lens filter for my camera and you can see how much it reduces sun glare on the road. Any reflective objects, even other cars on the road. Polarized sunglasses are great for the water too. They really do help reduce eye strain when I'm driving on a sunny day or out on a lake. So the wind was too loud with the top down. Let's try this again with the top up. I'm not going to do much talking because it's not the worst than trying to hear a good exhaust video if the guy's talking over it.
nice stereo crackle going down that hill. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing for more how-to videos and project vehicle updates here at the 6th Gear Garage.